With Spring Festival fast approaching, the holiday's weather forecast is starting to solidify. Starting Wednesday, the first day of the public holiday, a cold front is set to deliver rains in most parts of Taiwan. That's to be followed by strong seasonal winds that will bring sporadic showers and low temperatures to the north and the northeast. But don't despair. The weather is expected to dry up starting next Saturday, opening up a short window for outdoor excursions. The sun is shining bright and there is a cool breeze, but this beautiful weather isn't here to stay. Next Wednesday, February 10th, a cold front is expected to blow in, bringing rain and cooler temperatures across most of the country. Across northern Taiwan, daytime temperatures will range from 15 to 22 degrees Celsius and 17 to 24 degrees in the eastern half of Taiwan. The central and southern regions may see temperatures as high as 27 degrees. Although the cold front is only expected to linger for a day, northeasterly winds will blow in from the 11th to the 14th. Windward parts of the north and northeast could see sporadic showers and temperatures as low as 13 degrees. The central and southern regions could see short periods of precipitation in cloudy skies. On the 10th, we will see the effects of the cold front, so precipitation is very likely. Showers and thunderstorms are possible throughout the country. After the 13th, the chance of precipitation will slowly decrease. We'll start to get weather that's better for outdoor excursions. Be sure to seize the chance to head out when the weather is good, but take care to avoid traffic pitfalls. 24 sections of road are expected to see heavy traffic, including Provincial Highway 21 near Sun Moon Lake, the Green Tunnel along Provincial Highway 3, and the area around Jan Fu Sun Fancy World theme park, as well as other major tourist sites. Over the Lunar New Year holiday, we will be opening up the improved Suhua Highway to intercity buses. Our main goal is to open up the whole stretch of highway so that we can cut down travel time. Due to the ongoing pandemic, many people are expected to travel in their own vehicles. Transport Minister Lin Jialong forecasts that the roads will be under high stress, leading to tremendous traffic over the holiday. Drivers are asked to pay attention to high occupancy vehicle restrictions on freeways and to check traffic conditions before heading out.